Hi guys, uh, 3M Jest, TLNT, Robots in Disguise. Um, I'm here to do a tutorial um, on hand yoga, something that has helped me quite a bit with my dexterity. Um, you'll actually see quite a few of these moves in my show um, because of how well they just kind of fit with my flow because of the dexterity practice that I do on a regular basis. Um, but this is basic hand yoga, also known as mudra yoga, spelled M-U-D-R-A yoga. Um, you can look into this. This is actually something that's been around for thousands of years. Um, we're not the first ones to be playing with our hands. Uh, we're not the first ones. Greg Irwin was not the first one to think that dexterity practice would, was good for the good for the soul, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the some of the mudra yoga that I do on a regular basis that helps me with my dexterity. Um, we're going to start somewhere simple. Uh, we're going to start with what I call the lotus pose. This is actually not my name for it. This is actually a real, real thing. Go look it up. Uh, lotus pose. What you're going to do is you're going to um, take your pinky, pinkies and thumbs and put them together. And then you're going to stretch out uh, your, each one of your fingers as far from each other as possible. So your first fingers are as far away from each other as possible. They're also as far away from the middle fingers as possible. And the middle fingers are as far away from the ring fingers as possible. Each finger is as far away from the other finger as possible. So what you'll, you'll feel, um, you'll really feel it right here in this pose because um, you're really trying to stretch these fingers away from each other. Um, so when, if, when, well, when you're stretching, you'll really feel it in the wrist. Um, something simple to do from here would be uh, a little dexterity exercise by keeping the, the thumbs and the pinkies steady. You'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three something like that. Now it's obvious I'm not even to the point where I can I can hit, I can hit all of them without uh, you know individual with some of my fingers will still move. But that's the goal of this is to get um, the best um, finger independence as possible. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to separate our hands a little bit turn them just a little bit. You're not going to change the pose at all, but you're going to turn it just a little bit and you're going to notch the pinkies. Essentially, you're putting one pinky on top of the other. You can see how I'm doing that right there. You can even touch your middle fingers together if it helps you. But from here, you're going to wrap uh, starting... Yeah, actually, honestly, it doesn't matter which finger you start with. You can do both of them at the same time. Middle fingers around the pinkies. So you're grabbing your pinkies. Now, the beginner pose from here is... Uh, to do it with your middle finger as well. So you're grabbing your pinkies with your mi two middle fingers and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull back so you're pulling back like that, pull back and you're going to open your, your hands like a book as if right here on each hand uh, were, were, the, were the spine of the book. So you're opening like a book and pulling back. The other thing you're going to do is take these fingers and you're going to try to pull, pull them on this plane you're going to try to pull them straight back towards you. That gives a good stretch to get that range of motion right there. Um, then from here, we're going to just do this quick. You can do another one of these dexterity independence exercises. It goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, I'm not very good at it either. Um, but one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One two three 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 four. Something like that. Um, then from here, what you, you are going to do is we are going to reverse it. So you're going to release each one as if finger rolling. You're going to release each one of these as if finger rolling, and 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 uh, turn your wrists over and pass your first fingers and then grab them with your middle two fingers again. So you're doing the same thing. You're pulling, you're pulling down on the, on the fingers to give that, that range of motion and then you're pulling back as if right here were, were the notch of the book or were the spine of the book. 
then you can do this. Um, I throw this this in my show all the time. I love the look of this move. Um, but the cool thing about this is you can do it on either with either finger forward. And actually, I recommend working on it so that you do both fingers forward. Um, you can actually transition out of it like this. I like to do that. But anyways, um, from here, we're going to roll up and we're going to go back to Lotus Pose. Do one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Um, then we're going to go back to this one, but instead of grabbing here, we're going to cross them and grab them again so it looks like this. And once you get here, it's really interesting because you can actually reverse it completely um, uh, so that every finger that's on the bottom is then on the top. It looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now those two are reversed. Uh, the middle fingers are reversed, and to do it, do it with the the the, the back the back fingers. It goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now those ones are reversed. And then from here, you can release the middle fingers and wrap them around again. And this time, release the ring fingers and grab them. So it looks this same kind of pose, except it's a little bit different because of the, the the order of the fingers. And then you can completely reverse this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's reversed. Um, this is another one that you what you're doing is you're just sen uh, essentially grabbing and you're pulling back so that you can get these ranges of motion as far as you possibly can. Um, so from here, um, you can actually do it on this side as well. It's really, really difficult. Uh, you can do it upside down. Uh, it's really difficult because the pinkies are the critical are, are the are the highest finger at this point and it's really difficult to actually get that that grip strength with uh, with finger independence it's an advanced move save it for later um, I have I have so many more but I'm already hitting eight minutes uh, hit me up if you like this video if you want to see a lot more of my finger yoga um, I can make a continuous stream of these but I don't want to uh, I don't want to overload you too much. Uh, if you look at this video, you'll see a lot of things. Actually, I'm going to leave you with one really, really, really simple, basic uh, mudra pose. What you're going to do is you're going to um, separate your fingers. Then you're going to uh, kind of dial almost, but instead you're going to take your middle finger and touch your first, the pad of your first finger and take the other middle finger and touch the pad of the first finger in a cross position um, and then push and then you're going to do the same thing with the bottom one. So you're going to take your ring finger and touch the pad of your uh, your pinky and take the other ring finger and touch the, touch the pad of your other pinky. So that it looks like this. And like this. And then kind of tuck your thumbs or stretch your thumbs straight up or whatever, something, anything that feels good. Um, but where I have gone from here is to do... Um, almost the finger tutting kind of thing and go like that and it really gives a good stretch in each one of my fingers um, I try to keep my middle the the, the, the half of the fingers uh, straight and the other half bent like this um, so yeah that's that's a good stretch and you can always reverse that as well feels really good on the knuckles so let me know what you think I'm pushing 10 minutes so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this short once again I'm 3m jest uh, comment like my page use that code 3m on your purchases from amazinglights.com